Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're just going to continue working some of these subtraction problems with uh, subtracting real numbers, just to get a little more practice. What if we have 19 minus 12? Now, as we talked about in the last section, anytime you see subtraction now, you should start thinking that really that's exactly the same thing as adding a negative number. That's kind of a big leap to take when you first learn algebra, that subtraction is really the same thing as adding a negative number, but it exactly is. So when we're adding a negative number, now we have a positive number, we're adding to it a negative number. How do we handle that? We just subtract the numbers. 19 minus 12 gives you 7, and the sign of the answer goes with the larger absolute value. In this case, it's going to stay positive. So that's the answer, 7. Now what if we have 12 uh, minus 19? How do we handle that? 12 minus 19, same thing. So we'll have the 12 minus, or I'm sorry, make it plus negative 19 because subtraction becomes adding a negative number. And so then at the end of the day, what you have, you're adding to a positive number and a negative number, so you subtract them. 19 minus 12, uh, again, is going to be 7. But now what happens? You have the sign is going to take the larger absolute value, so you're going to have a negative sign is the answer. So you see what's happening. Here when you have 19 minus 12, you get positive 7. When you flip them around and make 12 minus 19, you get the same number, but it's negative 7. All right, so that's something that you can, you're going to probably see uh, as, you, as you solve more problems in algebra. It's just kind of a thing to observe. What if you have 7 minus 27? Well, this, the subtraction can be written as adding a negative. So adding a negative 27. So now we're adding a positive and a negative number. So we subtract 27 minus 7 is going to give you 20, and the sign of the answer stays with the larger absolute value. In this case, the 27 is larger, so we get negative 20. And now what if we